Okay, moving on to race 17. Thanks for that last call there, Martin. There's a two mile four grade one hurdle. It's the entry hurdle. So number one is Attorney General for Paul Rhodes, Holly West for Graham Clutterbuck, Black Benny for Molly at Surfer, Kuma Datha for Darren Thompson, Doug's Plastic Paradise for Stu Gray, Eskimo Jane for David Robertson, Pickpocket Billy for Ben Rensburg, and the favourite, the right stuff for Joshua Sutherland. And he's a red hot favourite here. The starter's got him away. So let's see if he can follow up from last week's win at Cheltenham. The right stuff. Let's see if he's the right stuff today. And it's uh, Dave Robertson's horse, Eskimo Jane, that's gone bounding off into the lead here. As he approached the first hurdle, he's already got a four length advantage over the rest. As we wait for the rest to settle down, Attorney General is the one in second at the moment. As we come up to the second hurdle, Eskimo Jane's going to lead them and takes them over it. Everybody jumps it okay, although both Doug's Plastic Paradise and the right stuff are a little bit poor over it. So it's still Eskimo Jane into the third. A poor jump there by the right stuff at the back. He's uh, tucking himself over now towards the fence. He's gone a little bit wide, jockey going a bit mad. But it's Eskimo Jane that leads by about four to Attorney General. And he's got another couple of lengths on Doug's Plastic Paradise in third. And then we've got the grey pit pocket. Out wide is Black Benny. Against the fence is Kumadatha. Then Holly West and the right stuff. And we'll skip over the fourth. And it's Eskimo Jane leading them a merry dance at the moment and leads by about three to Attorney General. He's got a further three on Doug's Plastic Paradise, and then Pit Pocket, and then Kumadatha. Almost Indian file already. We approach the next. Coming uh, along to the stands now. We have a circuit to go. It's still Eskimo Jane into the fifth. Takes it fine, as does the rest. We've got over it. Eskimo Jane from Attorney General and Doug's Plastic Paradise and Pitpocket together. And a couple back to just the four of Black Benny, Holly West, Kumadatha. The leader was a little bit slow over the six there. And has allowed Attorney General to pull alongside. So we see him from the grandstand here going away from us. All coming towards us. They'll be going away from us now. And there's the finishing line as you can see with the circuit to go. It's Eskimo Jane that leads us by a couple to Attorney General. And then we've got Doug's Plastic Paradise Pit Pocket. Nothing's really much changed in the in the order. As they go out with another six fences to negotiate. And it's still Eskimo Jane leading them. From Attorney General has taken a little bit of a hold now. Thinks Eskimo Jane may well have gone off too soon. Jockey on Eskimo Jane looks round. Might start to realise he may well have gone off a little bit fast over this two and a half miles. In these soft conditions. It's Eskimo Jane that's going to lead them into the seventh from Attorney General. Doug's Plastic Paradise pit pocket. The right stuff's got, got himself out of the back four. I'm looking for a little bit of room. And then we've got Holly West, Black Benny, and Kumadatha. We finally get to the seventh. Everyone's over it. A slow jump at the rear from Kumadatha. Darren Thompson looking to get a quick fire double. Winning the last race with Toizo Valley. Oh, and they go over the eighth. Eskimo Jane's uh, run out a little bit of steam here as Attorney General pulls alongside. Now we've got Doug's Plastic Paradise making a challenge as they go over the ninth. The three leaders get over it well. So it's Eskimo Jane, Attorney General, and Doug's Plastic Paradise together now. Then a length or so back to the right stuff and a couple back to Pit Pocket, Black Benny, Holly West, and Kumadatha. But it's Eskimo Jane that leads them again. We're only going to have a couple to go and they're going to approach the next. It's Eskimo Jane from Attorney General, Doug's Plastic Paradise, and the right stuff. Four and a half furlongs. They're in the final straight now. They get over the tenth. That's the third from home so we've got two left to run and it's Eskimo Jane that still leads from Attorney General in second, Doug's Plastic Paradise the right stuff having a little bit of a hold the Black Ben, Black Benny on the outside trying to make good move but it's still Eskimo Jane heading for home, going to approach the 11th soon, it's Eskimo Jane from Attorney General but here comes the right stuff running on well is Doug's Plastic Paradise and Black Benny, I'm not sure anything else is going to get into it but it's Eskimo Jane that still leads us into the penultima, it's Eskimo Jane from the right stuff and Attorney General, these three are together they go over the 11th, a poor jump by Eskimo Jane has allowed Attorney General to take it up now, so it's Attorney General by a length from Eskimo Jane in the right stuff. I'm not sure they're going to catch this Attorney General. He's starting to pull away, gets over the last, skips it well. We've only got a furlong left to run. The Attorney General is just pulling away here, showing his class. As they say, it's Attorney General who's going to take it. The right stuff's going to get caught here, I think, for second by a fast finishing Kumadatha. And it is Attorney General that takes it easily for Paul Rhodes. Kumadatha gets up for second for Darren Thompson. Third is the right stuff for 
Joshua Sutherland. I'm not sure who came in. Fourth, fourth was Pickpocket for Leon Van Rensburg. Fifth was Black Benny for Molly at Surfer. And now another 35 minutes, and we're going to hand you over to the big one, which is the Grand National, which is up next. So good luck in that.